Hey guys, it's me, it's Chelsea, what's up? So I'm gonna do a lash haul. Um, this is actually three lash hauls, but I'm just gonna combine them all into one to make it easier and a little less boring and repetitive for you. So first of all, I'm just gonna shout out my favorite lash product, and it is the Hey Schwann Wen Hoo-Ha Hoo -ha Hair Treatment. I know I totally screwed that up, I'm so sorry. Um, but it is for a nutritious mask to improve the strength, shine, condition of your hair and scalp. Restore your locks with a blended of protein-rich eggs, softening bananas, and fresh avocados. And, um, it smells so good, you guys. And it looks like that. You leave it in your hair for about 20 minutes. Okay, moving on. First haul. Okay. So this is what I got during my pre-op appointment from Lush and Kelowna, um, um, in, like, earlier in January. So first of all, I got the American Cream Hair Conditioner. Have flowing, shiny locks you've always dreamt of with the Strawberry Vanilla Milkshake Conditioner. And it is... Revives out of sorts, out of sort mains. A heavyweight conditioner full of nutritious ingredients for soft, smooth, and shiny tresses. And I absolutely love it. So that is, again, American Cream. And this is about... I paid about $20 for it. And then one of my other favorite products is the charity pot the small one um charity pot is where is charity pot 65 sorry i'm looking up these items as they go along in the product catalog spread some good a rich and giving floral lotion that's made with up to seven sustainable lush fun ingredients and this one was advocates for snake preservation changing how people view and treat snakes so charity pot they give the money to grassroot causes. So this one is for snakes. And I didn't actually intentionally do this. Um, why you guys in a shadow? There. Oh, now you're glary. Can you see it? I didn't intentionally choose the snake one. That is just kind of random. But it's kind of funny because I live in a place with like, what is it? Five different species of snakes. So <laughs> snake preservation is kind of a, a legit thing here. We have like a rattlesnake. Um, protected area for rattlesnakes and um, they take them and track them so yeah big deal here and this was $7.95 not $79 <laughs> um, and then from that one I was given a sample of the retreat hair conditioner which I have not really yet used um, really like that and it smells like it smells interesting okay so that's number one so roughly that time, I probably spent about $30. Next up, this is the big one, so be prepared. <laughs> okay, what should we do first? First of all, we're going to talk about the sample I got. I got blingy tooth tabs, so... Hopefully you can kind of see that. So you put that in your mouth and you use it like toothpaste. It's baking soda based, and this one tastes like orange. And I've used them in it. I really liked it. Okay, next up, let's talk about Okay. This is called Fun, and it's already crumbling. Yay. Um, Aliens and Monsters, and it's a fun product. So it's like a Play-Doh, and it can be used as soap or shampoo, a little bit of a bubble bath, and... Um, Oh, 2.5% of the sales from each bar will help fund local projects in Japan, providing fun and safe play to children in neighborhoods where Fukushima nuclear disaster contaminated the area so badly children were no longer allowed to play there. Um, the issue I had is it, like, really broke up a lot since I bought it. Because I bought it back, so this I bought during, right before my MRI, in the one in Kelowna. Um, so, like, this side and the middle side did a lot better, but this side is really not. So I'm probably going to throw that back in the fridge, and I definitely recommend putting that in a plastic bag if you buy it and don't intend to use it right away. What's our time looking like? I can't see the time. Okay. Keep going. Okay. So this is the... What's it called? Pink Flamingo Bubble Bar. Oh, and I'm showing it to you back. Looks like this. So bubble bars are forty-three. 
three. Okay, so bubble bars are solid bubble bars are packed full of fragrant and essential oils to suit every mood and bathing occasion. And the flamingo is slipping to something more bubbly. A fragrant rosewood sexy yin yang set the mood with this reusable bubble bar. And this one's kind of nice because you can just like hold it on the stick to pour it under the bubbles. I, I think that's what they do, otherwise you have to crumble them or whatever. Okay, so this one was $8.95. And the fun thing was, I got the Aliens and Monsters one, and that was $6.95, and it is, what is it scented with? Um, it is Spicy Black Pepper Oil and Fair Trade Vanilla, which I thought was an interesting combination. <laughs> oh, next up, we have Pink. Pink bath bomb, five twenty-five. So bath bombs are a relaxing petal-laden floral fizzer or a multi-layered extravaganza of color and scent. We have a bath bomb for every mood and taste. The pink is comforting and reassuring. A tonka bean neural rolly vanilla fizzer that turns baths into candy-scented fantasies. And I got it because it has little interesting things in it. And it wasn't that hard, harsh to smell. Okay. Oh yeah, this one's so good. This is another bath bomb. Um, I got it because it's so multicolored. I can't wait to see what color it turns the bath. So this is called the Experimenter. And it is... Original motion pictures. Um, your own bath time motion picture starring vibrant color popping candy and comforting fair trade vanilla. And it sparkles. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Sorry the lighting's a little weird. Okay, we have done. Okay. This one, yay. This is called Floating Island Bath Bomb. And it is, the bath bomb is buttery bits of bath time bliss. Feel the sublime effects on your skin and mind. Um, and this one is let your troubles melt away with sandalwood and vanilla. And we just broke it. <laughs> Good job. Um, it looks like this. And it smells really good. And I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it in half. And then, um, so the floating thing was $3.95. And then last but not least, I got one of their eyeshadows. The Happiness Eyeshadow. And it's the color I'm wearing right now. Really sloppily applied. And it was $20. And it was the most expensive one I bought. Um, or a thing I bought, purchased that time. Um, happiness is the perfect sunset copper shadow for brightening your day and everyone else's. And I really loved it. Um, I think I saw it first in a YouTuber called Sophie Louise. Her, um, she did a video, I'm pretty sure that's how you say your name, that's how you say your channel. Um, she did a video about doing a full face of makeup using only Lush products, so that's where I found this one from. I really love it. And just, just watch it really quick. See? <laughs> I love it. It's very pretty. Okay. So then, next, we have, so that place, that time... I spent $60.48. And then last one. So these are the things I bought before my MRI to treat myself. And then I went back for like one product, but I ended up with a whole bunch. Um, so first of all, we'll just go this way, I guess. There we go. 
course, it's last day. But, okay. So, I went back for this bubble bar. And it, I don't know if you can see the sea of glitter that just popped up. Um, can you see that? It's so glittery and sparkly. I love it. Um, so yeah, I bought it for, I went back for just this one bath bomb, um, and it was $10.95, um, but I loved it because it's so sparkly, um, then when I went back, so I went to the Lash in Kelowna first on February 19th, and when I went back by February, no, by January 21st, January 20th, I went back to the lash after the day after my MRI and in the two days since I first gone they brought out their Valentine's Day line so I bought a whole bunch of Valentine's Day things unfortunately I don't have descriptions of these products um because they aren't in the catalog but this is Cupid Cupid baby or Cupid bow bath bomb and it is 525 and it smells sweet, but not too sweet. It's cute because it's a heart. So that's one. Um, and then this one I got. It looks really basic. It's just white with some colored hearts in it um, and pink spots. But I'm kind of hoping it's one of those ones where it has something else in the middle and explodes into another color and this is called a lover lamp bath bomb and it was $8.95 again it's really sweet smelling but not too sweet but it's also covered in glitter so everything from that bag is covered in gold glitter and then last but not least I love this one look at it look at it it's a unicorn horn Um, and it is a unicorn horn bubble bar and it is $7.95 and it is so pretty and it has shimmer it doesn't sparkle as much as the other one but it has shimmer and it smells sweet sorry I can't really recognize the scents because I'm not too familiar with wash so at that time I spent $37.08 and in total I spent $127.56, roughly, between the three visits. <laughs> but oh well, I'm excited. I haven't used Lush, like, I haven't used a Lush bath bomb since probably, like, for over a decade, I think. Um, because they're, because I don't go to Kelowna very often, so, and I don't go to Vancouver very often either, so I don't go to places where you can get Lush, but yeah. I'm super excited. I will try and test some of these bath bombs with you on camera camera come on um yeah so thank you for watching have you checked out lush what's your favorite lush product oh my god you guys i'm covered in glitter <laughs> i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but those those are glitter everything glitters yep you can see that sweet So get the glittering gold bath bomb from Lush and it will really sparkle. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of it tonight for my audition. Thank you for watching so much. And um, I'm super excited to try the, what's it called? The Experimenter and the Unicorn Bubble Bar and yeah, the Valentine's Day stuff. And definitely the glitter one. I want to see how glittery it makes my tub afterwards. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and um... Look up Lush. I might try and list the products. None of this wasn't sponsored, so just so you know. But I tried to list price and tell you what each product did. So I don't not familiar with the product line. So I actually wanted to buy a bubble bar, a bath bomb, and a bath melt, which I did. Because I want to try each. So thank you for watching. I will tell you how it goes. Um, I hope you find a reason to smile and you have a really great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.